Hello and welcome to another episode of my F123 My Team Career Mode Here today for part 5 for the Canadian Grand Prix My favourite track on the calendar So let's go into qualifying Where we had severe engine issues As you can see here The engine smoking We were still able to carry on going But not very good as We set one lap time that turned out not to be very quick in the end with the issue we tried to go again but we were just too slow two tenths down you can see there it getting bigger now three tenths you can see how bad that engine is it's red and it needs changing before the race surely it's still smoking but the MGU H is the part that's gone and also the turbo as well so we will replace that which means our qualified is done and we will start from the very back of the grid it is the second largest french speaking city in the world and home since 1978 to the canadian grand prix welcome to montreal A 2.7 mile circuit, peaking at around 190 miles per hour. There are two DRS zones, 14 turns, which conclude with the famous Wall of Champions. And many a car has found their race ending right there. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And starting next to them is George Russell. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have... Sainz, Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Norris, Fittipaldi, Hulkenberg, Stroll, Sargent, Magnussen, Leclerc, Albon, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Ocon, Joe, Gasly, Sonoda, De Vries, Sonoda. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. And we welcome Natalie Pinkham to the cold box once again. That's no weather issues to worry about. It is dry and glorious out there. Everyone can focus on the racing. Well, the regulations aren't new anymore, but the teams and the drivers are still coming to terms with them. I firmly believe it's also track specific. We've seen some wheel to wheel racing throughout the year. Some tracks lend themselves better to it than others. I'd like to see it at every race in the whole season. Is that too much to ask? OK, we've got that relief of having points on the board finally. So let's keep that form up and get another top 10 finish today, please. So the strategy, medium to hard is the one stop. Two stopper, soft, medium, medium. Really not feeling the two stopper. So what we are going to try and do is go soft, medium. But that doesn't look to be very possible. So we changed it. So we're going to be doing a one stopper. Try and make these soft tights last. And do soft hard because we've really just got to go for it at the start no holding back so let's go then to the canadian grand prix and it's lights out and away we go and we've got a sensational start we've already got one we've already got three we're gonna try and go around the outside of several cars and there's perez who's had another poor qualifying after spain we try to go down the inside at turn two and Perez and the Alpine hold around the outside as we've gained several places at the start there and now we're on the back of the Red Bull of Perez as we go through the tight section and there's a gap going into the chicane up the inside of the Red Bull it's not something I thought I'd be saying this early on in the career mode but we are past Perez and now it's all kicking off at the hairpin we're going to send it late up the inside and the Williams tries to hold around the outside and stays ahead of us we have a big time stop up but we have gained even more positions and this has been a great first lap for us as you can see everyone coming down we're on the back of Albon up the inside of Albon and we are through and we've gone from last to 16th in just one lap 
And now we're on the back of the house and this car is flying around this Montreal circuit. We're on the inside of Magnussen, up the inside of Magnussen. And we get that position. Maybe step with Logan Sargent, he's having a good race. All the way up there. This is Leclerc, a bad fighting Hulkenberg. Around the outside, he tries to go on Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg's not having it. There's Australian Sergeant. They're free wide now with the heart Hulkenberg. We're just holding back with the popcorn, waiting for it to all unfold for us. Leclerc tries to go through the middle. Stroll though on his own Grand Prix gets past both of them. Sergeant now is on the back, and now we are going to try and do something in the background. Is Leclerc tries to go to the inside of Sergeant, but sends it up the inside. Got Hulkenberg and Sergeant napping. Now we're on the back of Lance Stroll. We're going to go to his outside and round the outside of Lance Stroll. We couldn't quite get the job done. He chops us off at turn two. But it wouldn't be long. Lap four. By the time we got on the back of the Canadian at his own Grand Prix, we're going to go to the inside into the final chicane. We get him before we even get to that final chicane. Next up, the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. And we are doing similar to what the Red Bulls did last time out in Spain, carving our way through very quickly. This car with the new parts on the engine is absolutely flying us along. As this is Leclerc, he's stuck behind Bottas. And that's really holding his progress. You can see Fittipaldi having a great race for us. As now this is Leclerc trying to go to the outside of Bottas. Bottas holds the inside line. Leclerc tries to hold it around the outside. Who gets the exit there? And it looks to be Bottas and Bottas stays ahead. And this is allowing us to get closer to the pack because we were saying around two seconds back we couldn't really close that gap down as we go all the way on to lap 11 now this is Leclerc now Leclerc pits Leclerc pits on lap 11 that's very very early have our Ferrari thinking about the two stop and as the medium tires go on I think that is what they're thinking there's no way he's getting he's on to the softs Sorry, he's going to the soft tyres. Ferrari R2 stopping winding down with Leclerc. We get past Bottas. That's how you overtake Bottas, Charles Leclerc. And now we are up into P8 in the race. Can we get away from Bottas now? A stroll. He's still coming. And this is Bottas on the back of us up the inside. He tries to go behind around the outside. Because these soft tyres. We're working very well and then suddenly it's like someone switched a switch and the tyres just hit the cliff and we're gone. <laughs> and Bottas and Stroll go wheel to wheel and Stroll has just sent it all the way round the outside of Bottas at the hairpin. It's now through the chicane we go onto the third D. I've read so we've had a big tank slapper there. Nearly dropped it, these tyres are screaming. As Lance tries to get up our inside, we hold him up. Bottas trying to get his own back. There's a lock up there. And Lance holds it round the outside. It's on to lap 16 now. You can see how the state of the tyres are looking. As we are going to pick to make our one and only stop of the day, we're going to have to take those hard tyres very far. 20 laps but I'm sure they can do it they've got to do it maybe there might be a safety car that can help us out but we shall have to wait and see on go the hard tyres and we'll see where this brings us out then as we come out of the pits now we can turn off the pit limiter and we are going to come out all the way at the back unfortunately but we have much much more grip than those around us. This is Max Verstappen, currently sitting P4 in this race, looking to make it back to back wins. But the Red Bull engine is gone, and Max Verstappen is out of the Grand Prix. 
Reliability is in for Red Bull. Max Verstappen is out in the Canadian Grand Prix. I filmed this. I recorded this on the day of the Canadian Grand Prix, and I was praying that that might happen in real life. But no, he left every single lap, didn't he? Anyway, onto the game up the inside. We go on Nick De Vries job then. We have so much grip on these hard tyres now. And now we can slowly start to carve our way back through those around us who are close to making their stops. And this is Gasly and Lando. Going well to wheel Lando. Tries to go to the outside. Job done it looks to be on Lando. Gasly gets the good exit though. And now we are just chilling with the popcorn. And we're going to send it down the inside. Of all three of them. Lando holds it around the outside. Who gets the exit? It looks like we have. And once again we've made a multiple car. Overtake out the hairpin. And he's at the road as Logan Sargent. As he pits then. He's out of the way. This is Leclerc then. Making his second stop of the day onto the mediums he's going to be quick now but can he catch us this point in the grand prix then we were just slowly sticking with fittipaldi he's ahead of us for once which i like to see just hopefully it doesn't happen too often but the gap was saying about around three seconds really had good pace i couldn't actually bring it that and um, back down but this is Leclerc, he's got his way back through. The two-stop was questionable by Ferrari, but he's got himself back to where he was. And I think this is going to be quite easy for him. We are going to try and defend, of course we are. But we've gone deep, we've gone deep, and Leclerc has gone at the inside of us. And now it's a drag race. We stay ahead of the Ferrari, but Leclerc pulls to our outside and... His job done, we are going to try and send it though, back around the outside, we try and send him offline, can we get him back into turn one though, we're all over the back of him, we're going to try and go around the outside but Leclerc drops us off, and gets ahead, and the team in this career mode is to beat Ferrari, and you can see with that overtake how far we are off, but just like with the soft tyres, these hard tyres hit the cliff again and we really have dropped back from Fittipaldi and fell back into Lando and Perez. Perez not getting his way back through the field like he did last time out in Spain. At the inside, look at the straight line speed of that McLaren. Lando is past us on lap 35 of 36. We send the lane up the inside. We squeeze him a bit there. And we stay ahead as we go on to the final lap of this Grand Prix. But finally, Mercedes are going to round the final corner. Lewis Hamilton, bottled in Bahrain, wins in Canada. Welcome back to the top step of the podium. Mercedes denied in the last two Grand Prix on the final lap. But it's a great one-two for him today. And we are going to come home for our third consecutive seventh and that's place. The end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. And Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. Natalie, fill us in. What was it that helped the team achieve their success today? Well, confidence breeds confidence. Success breeds success. They are very much enjoying the purple patch right now. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes.
So that's been the UK Canadian Grand Prix for Season 1 then. Very good Grand Prix, our best results as a team. 6th and 7th, it's our 3rd, 7th place in a row. Every time we score points, we finish P7. Maybe that's an omen, we shall have to see. But the tyres, we managed to get them behind. The tyres just went hit the cliff all of a sudden. Let's just look at Mercedes. Hamilton, both with it in Bahrain. Then Monaco, George was leaning on the inters. The drives were the option and Max overtook him on the last lap. Last time out in Spain, Hamilton cruising. Max came from 14th and won the Grand Prix. Max retires and it's a Mercedes 1 2. With that retirement note and sights is P3, it does mean that Max's lead has taken a slight dent. It's only 22 points now, but it's still nearly a race win. Going into the British Grand Prix, we sit 9th, Peter Pauli 11th, we sit 6th in the constructors, which is our goal from set by our main sponsor so we're doing well in that department as well but we go to my home grand prix next the british grand prix and can we make it four point scores in a row and can fittipaldi build on his great results we will find out next time at silverstone thanks for watching goodbye